Hello, here's a walkthrough of the Social Post Manager application. So this first page here is your dashboard. And here's where you can go ahead and schedule a post or create a quick post right away. Before you do that, you need to go ahead and create a template. So click on templates here and click add template. And here are all the templates you could choose from or you could create your own custom one. And we have desktop templates and we have mobile templates with more coming soon. So what you need to do is click on one of the templates, name it, and then just fill out all the information here, including your opt-in form. And see all your templates and all your templates here, and you can edit them. Now, if you want to go ahead and schedule a quick post, you click on the date, click quick post, name the campaign, click next, add some content, and click add content. Now, let me go ahead and search for weight loss tips. And let me take a good source here. Okay, so I like this source right here. Click Add. Click Next. Now we go for our template. So I'm going to use this template here. And you could choose a mobile template as well. And now let's go ahead and add a custom Facebook image post. And you can even add a pop under if you wanted, which will load after a few seconds. And let's click Next. And now we can go ahead and share it. And as you can see, the post was posted right here. If we click on it, we're redirected to our article that the software found for us about weight loss tips. And there goes our opt-in form after a few seconds that we set. And now if someone goes here, it enters their name and email. So let me go ahead and give you an example. You could redirect them to any page you want. In this example here, we re redirect them to an affiliate link. And then if they go ahead and buy, we make a commission. And also, we just added, a, added them to our list. Now, what you could also do is you could go ahead and schedule a post for a later date. So for this example here, we'll go ahead and click this. I'm going to schedule the post. Add some content. Schedule a time for it to be post. And let me go here. And for this example here, I have a direct link. So let me go ahead and paste it here to a popular dog magazine site. Add it. I'm going to click Next. For this example here, I'm going to use an iframe, which means uh, it's a custom pop-up. Add a link here. Click Next. Add a Facebook image. And again, if I wanted to, I could put a, a pop under. Click Next. Add it to a Facebook page and click next. And now our post has been scheduled. If we click here on the 28th, you'll see that at 7 p.m., uh, the Bulldog, it's the name of the campaign. It's a direct link. It's going to be posted on this uh, fan page and it's scheduled. And if we go ahead and click on this, we'll see exactly how it's going to look. So there's the page, and there's the pop-up. So if we, someone goes ahead and clicks here, redirected to your Teespring campaign in this example here. Another way we could go ahead and schedule is through CSV import. So if you click here on CSV, download this, let me open it. So we could go ahead and schedule everything from here. So as an example. Let me go ahead and create two campaigns right now. So we name the campaigns. We put the date that we want to go ahead to go ahead and post them. So I'll post this one on the 23rd. And I'll go ahead and post this one on the 27th. Okay. And again, we can use the time zone whenever we want to do this. So this one will be here at 3 in the afternoon. Here's the update, what we want to what we want to say on the post. OK, this is our um, ID for our template. So the pop up. So what I like to do is I like to capture leads. So I mostly use this as a lead capture uh, to get people on my email list. So I'll use this one right here and 
and then we have a mobile one as well because it's a little bit different I'll show you the mobile how it looks in a second and here is exactly where we're going to um, share so it, this would be a direct link so you can put this any page you want here's just an example and here's where you put your image and we'll show you all the best places to go ahead where to upload images and host them for free okay and here's where you'll add your pop under if you wanted to have one and then here is where you would put your Facebook either your Facebook ID or your Facebook vanity URL I'll just put this here as an example so once once that's done and again you could have as many as you want you could schedule so you could schedule for the whole month the whole week uh, whatever you want and again just save this as a CSV click Save now we click browse upload the file click upload see we just went ahead and created two let's go to our dashboard and I'll show you right now that here we created one on the 23rd so it's this one right here at this time it's gonna post this is the page obviously this is just an example this makes no sense to schedule an Apple on this type of fan page but you get the idea and the other one we did was the 27th right here CNN um, again it's a direct link on this page it's gonna schedule at this time and if you want to see how the page would look just click on it to demo it and there's your pop-up you could put there's many different ones you could choose and this is how you could capture emails very very easily I connected my iPhone to my PC so you could see the mobile version and you'll see how the mobile template looks and someone could go ahead and enter their email and you'll be able to get them onto your email list as well now once you're on the dashboard you could see some old posts and I'll show you what type of posts they were you could also go ahead and just choose if you're just looking for a post on a certain fan page you just scroll, uh, click down here and you can see these are all the posts on these days are scheduled or uh, already posted for this fan page here and you can, you can go ahead and click on them and you see which ones they are if they posted or not if they're scheduled you can go then see them here all right so this was a quick walkthrough for social post manager thank you bye for now mm -hmm.